I think I've mentioned it prior in a few times already. Like I'm already, you know, super fed up and over the whole sneaker culture game, sneaker buying thing. I'm fed up of it. It's annoying. It's bullshit. It's a fixed game. It's rigged. It's absolutely annoying. And why do I say that? I say that from a point of reference and a point of experience. I used to work in a very popular sneaker store here in the UK, specifically in London. And I knew the kind of fugazi, no, I, I knew the, 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 the unscrupulous behaviors that went on behind the scenes in order to get the shoes from the factory to the shop floor and into your hands. They go through a lot of hoops. They go through a lot of people. Uh, people get, you know, pairs before they've even left the um, delivery trucks. It's a very dirty and hypocritical game. So the fact that people set up, you know, the ability for you to win raffles in order to have the chance to buy something with your hard-earned money is a real kick in the teeth, especially when you consider the sneaker industry is a $1 billion industry, maybe more than a billion industry last time i checked right most uh, brands outside the top three are still selling like hotcakes retros all over the places it's a big business it's not the niche industry that it was prior so the excuse that these companies had before that they wouldn't want to produce anything to not dilute the market and to make things more covetable is absolute pony bullshit they should just make more shoes have the ability for people to actually purchase them and walk in to get them instead of this nonsense we have at the moment why is it that I can go into a shop and buy the new iphone buy a new imac and buy a new pair of headphones but i can't buy a, a, my favorite pair of shoes because they've decided to only release them in limited quantities to a select brand of stores who put them up for raffling and then they end up getting backdoored and if you're wondering what backdoored mean backdoor effectively means before they even hit the shop floor before they're out of their boxes and on Onto the onto the stockroom shelves they've already been allocated to other people in order to get them out of the back and why do i know that because i've done it myself i've been able to take shoes out of rotation before they've come out of delivery and put them underneath the till and sometimes not even purchase them so imagine what's happening nowadays with the um, excess amount of shoes that are being produced year in, year out. It's absolutely insane. So over the weekend, um, you know, Nike continued doing their bullshit moves and they put out this shoe, the Nike um, Air Jordan Trophy Room, which was specifically released in the Trophy Room store, which is a store owned by Marcus Jordan, if I'm not mistaken. He's the son of Michael Jordan. That's exactly his only claim to fame. He rides that fame, um, you know, until the wheels come home. And anybody on the Nike Talk forum will know um, how much of a despicable human being that Marcus Jordan is but we get it you're the son of Jordan you're going to use that clout and use that notoriety you know to kind of get yourself where you need to get yourself it is what it is so this is an article here from Twitter it says the following while some of the weeks most anticipated sneaker releases are typically fall on Saturday two coffee today Jordan 1s were up for grabs this morning including the OG style neutral grey at Jordan 185 which I call a massive L on congrats to me as well as the freeze out Jordan 1 high in collaboration with Trophy Room the store owner operated by Michael Jordan's son Marcus I tried to sign up and guess what error 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 it continues both releases went down at 10 a.m et neutral grave saw typical launch of sneakers app quickly notifying shoppers that their pair were purchased or not which again i absolutely hate i've only the, the sneakers app is weird i've won four pairs of shoes from the nike 10 virgil abloh collaboration and that's it i've not won anything else from the sneakers app that's it four pairs in a row but not one ever since i'm not sure if i've been if my account's been flagged or whatever but somehow somehow that happened it continues um the latter style was made available via raffle on the trophy room website which resulted in numerous crashes that left many people unsuccessful in submitting an entry the website issues had led to a store to switch to email entries which also experienced hiccups after the inbox was overloaded a second opening um for trophy room email began at 12 45 but now has ended so they tried to release it three times and still they weren't able to put them out for sale for most people to kind of put their entries in and guess what that gave ample time for the resellers and all these other dorky kids online to decide to grab a few pairs and pose with a million boxes on their floor and basically piss everybody off it continued limited to 12,000 pairs of trophy made Jordan 1 freeze out place how much of the rumored freezing out of May MJ by his teammates during the first ever NBA all-star game section of 1985 it sports an iconic Chicago color scheme but features a frozen look throughout the red over lays in the upper which sits atop the sail midsole and a translucent sole as a shoe um objectively as a jordan one because they're a bit they're a bit of a um you know overused model and they're a bit tired i'm a bit bored of seeing the shape everywhere it's a pretty cool colorway and a pretty cool reinterpretation of a classic to be honest right 
no, you know, we, we don't have to hit on that. Given how limited the demand was for the collab, it's suspected the most sneakerheads uh, will come away empty handed. So we round up some of the best reactions from today's drop to help everyone uh, smile throughout the pain. Uh, Trev Room trying to figure out the increase of the email limit. Of course, the weekend um, image there, a screenshot here from the delivery status notification or from the out from the Outlook, I think, email, email box as well, which is um, incredible to imagine that a, trof a, sto a, sh a store such as Trophy Room with the amount of revenue that they do, that they have an Outlook email box or whatever it may be um loads of funny sketches but the most infuriating thing out of this whole uh, you know crazy drama is pictures like this and if you're listening via you know if you're listening only then essentially it's a picture of these kids who are just surrounded by pairs and pairs of trophy room air jordan ones all legit with the stub um next to them you know and just kind of gloating in the face of everybody like thinking hey these guys are killing it these guys are ruining it for everybody and i think this is effectively in my opinion why i've decided to kind of just start buying fakes now like i've d devoted what the best part of 20 plus years of my life to sneakers and streetwear pacifically streetwear actually sneakers probably second i kind of got into it pacifically to be the next james jebia hiroshi fujiwara aaron bondaroff nigo and all those kind of guys right those guys i looked up to and of course the sneakers came second but this game is rigged. This game is an absolute rigged game. It's pointless to even get involved in. Every shoe that you want, every shoe that you would like is limited. Um, they release them in limited quality tees, which then means that they um, have some sort of value on a resale market, which then means it attracts these spotty little kids who seem to regen. Every single decade, it seems to be a new batch of these little scrawny, um, you know, reselling kids who pump up the prices of particular shoes and basically make them unattainable for the average guy like me and you who just wants to wear their trainers. That's the thing if i went to resell as much as these guys and i was involved in the game fair enough the game is the game you win some you lose some but you when you actually want to wear your shoes and you can't even buy them that's when it really starts to hurt and that's when it really starts to get annoying um so this is again this image is a perfect representation as to why someone like myself who spent 20 plus years buying sneakers the legit way going through it the normal way reaching out um to stores emailing my entries in submitting fucking annoying posts on instagram and i've done it once that instagram stuff right click some, um, click on our profile like the page post a comment tag a friend follow us on the thing never again am i doing that stuff again i'm not gonna bend over backwards to try and pair a pair of shoes to try and try and buy a pair of shoes i'm sorry i'm flipping muffling my words i'm not gonna do that anymore it's not that serious move on go somewhere else there are plenty of factories in china that will be willing to make reps of these and they'll look close enough to next to what they need to wear i'm not gonna try and resell them anyway so it doesn't really matter that's why the fakes are booming and then we have here another image of the shoe itself, you know, a pretty standard um, Chicago colorway, Air Jordan High, Air Jordan 1 High. Again, why do people make mids? Do you wonder why, why do mids exist of Air Jordan 1? It makes absolutely no sense. Lows, maybe. Again, they look flipping horrendous. They look like they've, they look like, um, they've run out of material. But the mids are such an irrelevant um, design to even make in the first place, aren't they? But objectively, again, the lacing. Oh, lacing is so bad. Why do Nike do this with their, with their product shots? They don't relace the shoes. It's something I never really understood. <laughs> Well, just to be the going to continue up. Is it, is it crashed? I don't know what's happening here. Maybe it's crashed a little bit. The screen needs to reload because I think it's um it's recognize how angry I am. Um, let's go here. And then, yeah, more images again of people trying to enter to purchase the shoes and get an, an error message. So, like I said, man, I'm over this, man. I really am. I'm not sure about you guys. I'm over entering these sneaker competitions um, in order to kind of win the chance to purchase a shoe. I'm just going to start buying my shoes from China. Um, I don't give a crap. I don't care. I've committed 20 plus years to buying these shoes a legit way. I know what goes on behind the scenes. I'm not willing to, you know, get on my knees and slob on a knob in order to buy a pair and email people and ask for favors. Agostino doesn't ask for favors. Agostino doesn't ask for anything. I've got my own money. I want to purchase stuff. I want to wear it. If I can't do it the legit way, I'm going to have to begrudgingly go the unlegit way. Join me in our rep fight, my friends. Join me in our rep fight, in our resistance against the tyrannical machine that is Nike that's oppressing us and not allowing us to ability to purchase shoes with our hard-earned money how nuts is that huh how nuts is that oh these people man these bloody people